Twin Flames vs. Comic Connections. Yeah, I am answering your most frequently asked questions. So check out this playlist and don't forget to like and subscribe and to hit the bell icon so I can help you to understand more what you are dealing with or not dealing with. And if you're wondering why is she talking about that stuff? Hello, my name is Janine. I am a twin flame myself and also I have been coaching soulmates, twin flames and other kind of divine counterparts for more than 16 years now, which means I had the ability to gather a lot of information and I want to share this with you to help you ascend and to achieve the life of your dreams. So again, don't forget to subscribe so we can get you to the next level, okay? Yeah, a twin flame versus a karmic connection. <clears throat> Both, of course, can feel a bit similar in the beginning. Both can have like this obsession. You constantly have to think about them like all the time, all the time and all the time. You know what I'm talking about. And yeah, it, it, it has this kind of obsessive feeling in the beginning. However, a twin flame is a very, 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 I mean, it's a divine counterpart. It's a divine energy, not a distorted energy. So one thing where you can absolutely know if you are dealing with a twin flame or not is, is there any toxicity? A twin flame, a true twin flame would never abuse you physically, mentally or in any way. Trauma bonding, however, can be yeah, attracting something like that. So if you feel like your person is a narcissist, for example, it's not a twin flame. Why? Because you only attract what you're vibrating. By that, I don't mean that you would be a narcissist as well, but people would only attract narcissists if they are a true narcissist. I mean, feel like nowadays people are laboring, especially like spiritual people are pointing the fingers at others and labeling them, which is not a spiritual thing to do at all because it means you are in victim mode if you do that and the other person is the bad guy you're the good person you're the victim unfortunately we are creators we create everything so if you attracted a narcissist then that's what it is you attracted a narcissist it's not them doing something to you you attracted that why probably because you are forced to learn to set more boundaries for example or to take care of yourself you know, it's usually people attract narcissists that are not good to themselves. And if you always put everybody else's need first, you show the universe, look universe, I don't deserve to be treated well, I don't do it myself. And then the universe is like, okay, if you don't deserve to be treated well, I mean, we don't agree, but if that's what you want, because you show us what you want by the way you think about yourself, the way you treat yourself, we, use, we read that energy you sent out, well, then we send you somebody who is not treating you well. Is it the other person's fault? No. It's, I don't want to say you're a fault because it's usually something that we learned in early childhood. It's like a template. So it has nothing to do with fault. But if you're an adult now, it's your responsibility to ascend, to learn and get over it and to clear that childhood trauma. It's your responsibility, not the other person's responsibility to change. However, if you attracted somebody who is toxic, means that you still have frequencies that did attract that. There's still unhealed shadows. And when we still have a lot of shadows, then we cannot attract a divine counterpart. We would attract distorted energy. If you're saying, yeah, but what about twin flames? These split twin flames, there's a lot of healing going on. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's very painful connection because it is triggering you, your fears and your fears of abandonment. So there's a runner chaser stuff going on between twin flames however um, a twin flame would not be toxic so if you still attracted somebody who would consider to be toxic then you I'm sorry to say it this bluntly then you have not ascended high enough to attract divine energy you would still attract somebody where there's trauma bonding somebody who would give you lessons to ascend and then you could attract a twin flame if you have one or another kind of divine counterpart to push you to the next level okay so what hurts in a twin flame connection and i'm talking about split twin flames not monadic twin flames because monadic twin flames can only meet once they have done the healing especially the feminine for most of the part of masculine energy does not have to be usually the masculine energy is getting triggered 
with the divine feminine to do the healing but the divine feminine must have been through all the healing in order to even attract a monadic twin flame if you're wondering what is a monadic twin flame i do have more in-depth videos about different kind of divine counterparts where i get into that but yeah it is karmic if it's toxic okay what hurts in a twin flame connection is that we have things we expect the other person to do for example we have abandonment issues and then we project those on the other person and we are like i need you to be there so that i feel safe i need you to do that so i don't feel the oppressed pain and that is what they won't do they won't run to mirror you the abandonment issues or if you're not in your self-love yet they would not be toxic like a karmic connection could be. Um, they would show you that you're not in your self-love by not showing you how amazing you are because you don't believe it yet. Be and again, if you don't believe you are amazing, we're not talking about getting into like a narcissistic mode. There's, we're talking about balanced, healthy self-love, okay? Not about I am an egoistic person now and me always first. That's not what I'm talking about, okay? I'm talking about um, recognizing we are all connected and of course we always help others but we don't overdo it because we take care of ourselves as well and if it's not an emergency we get to say no once in a while if you don't feel good you get to say no without being scared what if I'm not loved anymore because that can be a deep-rooted wound and that needs to be healed so in a split twin connection again what hurts what is painful is that we project we have needs that we want the other person to fulfill and they don't fulfill our needs and that's the pain okay it's not because they do something to us in a monadic twin flame connection there is still of course some healing going on but it's more in a different way imagine for example when you were a child and i always use this example i'm sorry ginger people actually like red hair you see i've like you only see two but i have like three ginger cats so i like red hair to be honest <laughs> um but imagine like a ginger person I'm, I'm using ginger because that is something we don't have as common if i would say blonde there's blonde people everywhere um and then maybe it would not be like a dramatic thing because you would be confronted with that all the time so let's say a ginger person did something to you when you were a child and subconsciously you connected that to ginger is bad you know and then you meet your twin flame and it would be ginger that's nothing they, they would do to you it's just something that is and you are confronted with something that you have to heal or it could be another example would be for example an example for example sorry about that you were bit by a dog like a specific breed and then you meet your twin flame and they have that exact kind of breed of dog and I'm just making it up but you know it would be something like that that you are now confronted with something to overcome your fear but that's nothing toxic they didn't do anything to you just by having a specific kind of dog you know but still it could be triggering for you and again that would be like monadic twin flame triggering you know there's still healing going on but not so much by um because you you already have healed the big abandonment wound issues and the self-love issues so yeah a karmic connection karma i have to talk about that as well karma to me is nothing but an inner imbalance a karmic connection does not mean that something bad happened between you and the other person in a past life it means you have something that is not healed for example again the abandonment issues and then they would come and trigger that that is nothing that has to do with you too it is your issue they have their own and if it wouldn't have been done to mirror that back to you then you would have attracted somebody else or somebody else or somebody else you know you can replace the mirror the mirror is always showing you the same thing and that has never to do anything with the other soul it is your own inner stuff and so a karmic connection what we label a karmic connection is just there is a lot of imbalance going on a lot of triggering and maybe even toxic stuff and that is something that is getting shown to you you attracted that because your soul wants to show you your shadows so you can heal them so it's nothing really it, it, it can be helpful it's painful yeah but it can be helpful and 
Um, stay tuned because I'm going to shoot another video about can karmic partners be life partners or soulmates, okay? I see you in another video. If you need my help with personal coaching, my information is below. I wish you all the best now. Bye-bye.